Hello everybody, I've been asked to uh, make a quick video clip to um, show how to put sound effects in Stone Soup. I used to run the game with sound effects during my videos for a couple of videos way back when before I settled on the simpler format so that it would be less uh, tedious to record. Anyway, um, to get the sound effects, uh, I'll, I'll just take you through it step by step. This is the link that you're going to need and I'll leave this in the comments for the video so you can just click on it easily. But if you want to try and find it on your own, um, that's not too difficult either. Just go Stone Soup Sound, I believe, should be good enough. You're gonna get this YouTube clip uh, that's already been made. Um, just follow the link right here. It's pretty straightforward, not very difficult at all to do. But anyway, so that's how you get the link, which again I'll post in the video so you'll see that in the link below. Step one, download both of these, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, desktop, it's fine. That was a total mistake. And download the text file. Usually the text files are like just instructional or whatever, but I vaguely recall that it was necessary in the case of this particular uh, mod to have the text file as well. So download the text file too. Good, so we're set. Go ahead and throw these into the game directory now, just so they're in the right area. So you'll notice right away that it's asking me to overwrite because I already have one here. But basically this is my game's install directory, or yeah, in my case I've installed it to C, Big File, Software, Gaming, Stone Soup. It is not the, uh, yeah, where's my Stone Soup folder? It's the same directory where you're going to have your settings files stored. It is not the same directory uh, where your application data, the morgue file, and the uh, saves files are stored. It's just the install location. Anyway, so we've got the sound files and we have the actual sounds themselves. Next step is going to be to unzip the files, the sound files, into a sound directory, into the pre-named sound folder. Sound is the correct name of the folder. I've renamed my SSS sound so that it wouldn't actually play. That's a low-tech way to mute it. Um, and you'll see a whole series of WAV files which are set up, so that's great. Next step, we need to tell Stone Soup where to find the sound files. That's where this file comes in. First things first, this is, this is all code that needs to go into the init.txt file. Pound is a comment marker which means it doesn't actually have any effect, but you can delete the pound key to effectively uncomment a line and make it do something. Um, what else am I missing? Nothing really. You'll notice that there's a series of pounded out or commented out lines, consider changing this, consider cha revive to, because they wanted to leave the user the ability to go in and manipulate this stuff directly if they so desire. I do not find any of, I've never made any of those mods. You can, if you don't want to worry about the high-tech, low-techness of it, you can just copy all of this directly. Uh, edit, copy. I, I uh, ignored the first line, but that's not necessary. You can copy literally all of this and it will work just fine. Okay, close on that. Oh, and I should mention, that's text pad that I'm using, but notepad will have the exact same effect, so that's not a factor. Settings, init.txt. Opening this up, um, if you have made no mods here, uh, there are certain mods which I will actually point out that I've made because I find them very helpful in playing the game. That is, if I run across them, I'm not going to work too hard on finding them. Um, nope, I'm not seeing them here. Run rest ignore, run rest ignore, nope. Um, there's these travel delay lines. If you set travel delay equal to minus one instead of the default, which is 20, but if you were to uncomment this line and set it equal to minus one, then you would no longer, ha uh, you would no longer display the run moving, physical moving of your character. You would magically appear wherever uh, your auto travel would have stopped and the game would just 
display it instantly. This is very, very helpful for web tiles players, so I, I definitely recommend knowing about it. Um, yeah. Then there's the default friendly pickup. It's by default set to none. I set this to all. What this means is if you have a friendly character like an imp or an orc, they will automatically treat items on the floor like they have the right to pick them up on their own. It's a similar type of setting to having an auto pickup or no auto pickup set up. Um, and frankly, I can think of very few reasons not to use it for a primary summoner. Now, if you're primarily someone who has permanent allies, yeah, you don't want them looting your stuff and then having no way to force them to drop it. But uh, there you have it, so you know, don't forget that either. All right, fair enough. So um, you can paste the details, for, going back to the sound thing, you can paste the sound file of code anywhere. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it underneath the file system, but again, it doesn't have to go here, it can go anywhere. And because of the way it's set up, they use these gigantic hashtags. So if you make a mistake or you want to go back and delete it later, you can easily find and delete it. Okay, so that's set up. Let's hit save. And uh, I believe that's everything that you need to do. Um, apparently I copy pasted the SS sound uh, text file here as well, just so I would have it as a backup. But that's an excessive step. You don't need to keep a copy of it here or here. That's strictly optional. Now, if I did it correctly, the sounds should play. Unfortunately, because I am wearing headphones, you won't hear it, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this for my own notification to make sure it worked. It is, in fact, working just fine. In fact, let me go ahead, max the volume on my headphones to see if I can just share it with you at least partially. You can hear the uh, sound effects totally doing their thing. If you find sound effects irritating um, after a while or you just want to disable them for you know, a period of play, renaming the folder is one of your easiest uh, is easy, your easiest go-to methods to doing that. Alright, that concludes the short tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope that uh, those of you who want sound effects will find it uh, to be no difficult.